Hey everybody, it's Wonderful Skiff. We're back with another Skiff Smasher Showcase, and today we have number one in Iowa, uh, Welfare Pickles. How are you doing today? Uh, not too bad, man. Not too bad at all. All right, all right. Good stuff. So, uh, first things first, we're just going to get right into this immediately. The wolf? Okay. Oh, <laughs> no. I mean, no, you know, I mean, like you said, no offense. I mean, for talking shit already, you know, I don't want to go balls to the walls right away. No, I mean, I guess that's fair. I... <laughs> but anyway, so we're going to get right past this real quick. I was totally expecting the snake man um, to play snake. Oh, uh, we'll get to it. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you uh, know. Yeah, no, I get it. So anyway, first things first. Um, the first thing I like to usually ask people is, where does your tag come from? It's kind of like the first experience you get when meeting a new player. So, uh, yeah, where does mm. welfare pickles come from? Oh, man. I always know this question will come, and it's always one of the most boring answers you're going to get because it is really not an eventful story at all. Oh, God. I was playing Battlefield 3 when I was in middle school at, like, I don't know, 1 in the morning, and I just misread someone's name as Welfare Pickles, and me and all my friends thought it was hilarious, and so I made up my Xbox tag. Okay. And I just kept it because it's original. I was like, oh, I like it. It works. It's definitely unique, for sure. Um, so yeah, what, which what is pretty much tag, all I wanted. What was the tag actually, then? I, I genuinely don't remember. It was like, whale something, I think. I, I do not know. It's been so long. Whale pickles, all right. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it's something a little, a little different. Uh, the past, like, four people I've uh, interviewed have all been um, from, like, Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. So, was it, that was, like, Sharp. And who was the other one? It was... Oh, I can't remember. Anyway. Oh, shit! Okay, so... Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's push forward here. So, and after, you know, the names and stuff like that, uh, I like to figure out uh, your play style. So, obviously, we're seeing the wolf here. This is not what I was expecting. I was totally expecting to eat some grenades first thing. And, uh, that's not... Oh, oh fuck! Okay, well, <laughs> So <laughs> when you're playing, when you're playing a player, a new player, someone you're familiar with, blah blah blah. Uh, what is the general game plan that you're kind of going in with? Um, well, that can depend on where I'm playing them, I guess. If it's a tournament, I'll generally be pretty reserved at first. <laughs> I like to, I guess, you know, play it a little safe, pick up on habits before I go in. But if it's friendlies, generally. I try to be more aggressive. I you know I'm trying to I'm trying to fight. I wanna hit people. I hear you. I always wanna hit people, but in bracket at least I try to break things down a little bit more before I go in and then once I feel like I have a good uh, flow chart of my opponent, you know, I'll try to like start to break down their disadvantage once I hit them once just to kill them as fast as possible. I suppose. I don't know, it, it can really depend, because everyone, you know, approaches it differently to the extent. And I, I don't think I have a too, like, rock solid of a game plan. I try to be as flexible as I can. I think that's fair, especially, like, when you're playing Snake anyway. It kind of makes Yeah, sense you gotta change it up a lot. Yeah, and, and like, you kind of want to play generally slow until, you know, you get, like, at least a good advantage state, or just kind of figure out what their options are, and that's where, like, you can really start making those big reads and making the big plays, because, you know, Snake can drop a lot of damage, so. Oh, yeah, it's like, you know, you, you can't commit too soon, because then, like, I don't know what kind of reads they'll make, and I'm at disadvantage, I don't know what the options they want from me. So I, like, oh my god, I grabbed yeah, through that. I'm actually surprised. What the you got me. I'm a little mad about it, actually. I'll be honest. Oh, I'm sorry. You... <laughs> Poor Lariat. Sometimes it just fucking sucks. Yeah, it's usually it's a pretty good move. move, but that's the first time I've it seen is. someone grab me at it. Ah. All right, so as as you mentioned, you're kind of like a, a bit passive at first, and then, you know, you turn it up when you feel comfortable, which I think it's, mm. it's like, not. I don't want to say typical of a snake main, but like, yeah, it makes, it makes sense. sense. <laughs> So, yeah, so from there, uh, obviously, that's the game plan. Uh, but what about your strengths? Like, where do you think, you know, the your kind of like the highlight of Welfare Pickles really lies? Uh, oh, man. Oops. Oh. <laughs> well, definitely. There, there you go. Not there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I, I like to say I'm pretty good at making callouts. I'm good at, like, picking up on habits and then, like, appropriately fishing them out when I have the time to make my punish. No. Yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take it, it's fine. <laughs> Didn't die that way. So you're a big uh, kind of reactionary person, kind of? Oh yeah, generally, it's, I think it's one of the reasons I don't 
Pathfinder very much. Mm -hmm. I uh, I generally play very reactionary, especially when I don't know what my opponent is going to do. I'm much prefer to position myself in a way that I can appropriately react to anything yeah. that I'm not sure of until I'm more confident with like the options that I could go for. Oops, there's a lot of those today so far. Until I can put myself in riskier positions because I'm sure I have an idea of what they're going to do. Yeah. I think I think that's pretty fair. I, I kind of feel the same way when I have to play in Sonori. You, you kind of have to react. <laughs> I basically like work on reactions and uh, hoping the opponent panics at whatever I do. Because <laughs> that's pretty much the only way I'm going to gain ground. Can't give in Sonori fear. That's pretty much what like it comes to. Uh, e I don't have a jump. Goodbye. Yep. <laughs> Rip. All right. So good stuff. Good stuff. Um, we're actually bowling through some of these questions kind of quick, uh, but that's okay. So I'll try to give better answers. <laughs> no, it's okay. no, you're you're straight to the point. I actually I really don't mind that. Um, so moving on from there, uh, let's kind of go over some weaknesses. Uh, what do you think your weaknesses are as as a player, or even you know just as a snake man in general? Uh, probably my patience. Sometimes it's either. My, I, I will, I'll get too much into like ruts when I fight people that I, uh, they play ways that I'm not used to. And I struggle to think novelly as much as I need to. Like, I'll do things that don't work over and over just it's quote unquote safe oh, wow. or something like that. Oh, well. Okay. I'll fly it out. Um, and then definitely my patience. Sometimes I know I just, uh, will swing too much too soon when I need to just wait things out. I think that's fair. Yeah, okay, good stuff. Um, I think I can write with that too, so I totally get where you're coming from in that one. Uh, I just want to hit people sometimes, it's hard in this game. Yeah, no, I, I get it, Some make man. it very, very hard to hit them. Patience is uh, very good in this game, and as someone who doesn't like to be patient, uh, that's a struggle. It's, like I'm to go. <laughs> it's time to fight. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, so moving on from there. Um, I, obviously we went over the fact that you are number one in Iowa. Mm. Um, so what are some results that you're actually really proud of? And it could just, it could be just this game. It could be in other games in general, but, uh, yeah. So i kind of danced around that a lot, a lot more than I need to. But yeah, what are some results that you're proud of? <laughs> uh, oh man. Well, obviously nothing is of late, unfortunately, but like... I'm pretty proud of my shine results, I suppose. That was my uh, first actual, like, well, not my first actual major. One of my, my first good major, anyways, because mm -hmm. my first first major was Smash Splash 5. And uh, I don't know if you went to that tournament, but um, no. it was uh, it was a struggle. It was, uh, the pools were ran horrendously. Mm -hmm. I've, so, heard, I've heard uh, horror stories about it. Yeah, at the pre-event, I did really well, too, though. That was fun. That was my first, like, uh, I guess or into like an actual national scene to an extent where I play nationally known players. And I did really well there, which was a nice confidence boost, even though I did shit the next day, unfortunately. But that was another thing, I guess, is I just get nervous a lot at bigger tournaments. But my other one would definitely be Shine, because uh, that was my other decently good result in my first time ever even leaving the Midwest. So I was surprised I did as well there as I did. And then I guess more on the local quote unquote scale, like in you know, Heartland, Midwest. Uh, happy with a few of my like Midwest. Ah, fuck. Pay attention, Midwest Mayhem stuff. Oh my god. Um, like, Heartland Showdown, things like that. Most mm -hmm. of the, I guess, the, you know, any of the local regional stuff I've been able to go to. I'm usually pretty happy with how I do. I'm not like, I don't have crazy high expectations. Like, I obviously want to win, but I also, I'm not unreasonable. I try to be realistic, you know, you can't win them all, obviously. There's a lot of good fucking players in this region. You know, I, like, if I used, like, Yeti, I used to. Skittles, at least the comment, it's like, oh darn. Yeah, good, like, very, uh, very like, good players. Yeah, that was like, what, Domo, Domo Palooza? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, they are got <laughs> double limited by Tony, but also one of the very good, very good players. But... <laughs> yeah, Tony does, just does his seem to be a, uh, a bit of a controversy for some people, but he's definitely a very, very good sign. Tony's yeah. definitely good. Yeah, he's definitely I mean, good. You, can, you can say a thousand words about Tony's play style, but I think people would, you can't legitimately decred decredit him. He's obviously a good player. He makes it work. No, time it. No way! Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, I thought I got you somehow. God. I'm like, it was just a down tilt. And, yeah, I was a little confused. Like, that looks like down tilt. I don't think that'll kill me, but I don't know. Incinera is wacky. Yeah, Incinera is a bit wacky. Okay. Uh, this is yeah, fun. Uh, your, your shine results. Uh, I actually just looked at those today, and 
I don't think many people can really say, yeah, the only reason why I lost is because I lost to the two of the top three players <laughs> yeah. in the world. <laughs> that, in a way, did definitely suck. Or I was like, man, I wonder how I would have done had I not had to play Sam Sora into Tweak. But, like, what are you going to do, I guess? Yeah. Guys, just be better. <laughs> it it's definitely uh, was rough. How did those sets go? Uh, my Sam Sora one was... Game one was super, super last day. I could have won it. I got a down throw read, but I... Top player privilege. He's lucky I freaking hesitated. Because I was like, there's no way he's actually going to just roll out. And he did. And I just had the slightest hesitation. So I didn't up tilt him. Uh, and I just ended up getting the re-grab. And I didn't kill him off that one. And then he won that. And then he kind of he kind of slapped me up the next few games. He just got me in disadvantage. And he's, yeah, I mean, you, I'm sure you've seen Sam Sora play. He yeah. fucking murdered me. And I was yeah. like, damn. He's uh, really tweak. good. <laughs> He really is! He kind of just, every time I was off stage, I'm like, man, I can't recover. I need to have better recoveries. Because he just keeps killing me. Uh, then Tweak was, if I'm being honest, very boring. But I, that doesn't surprise me, because Tweak lost pretty early on. So he was he was playing like, I am not losing to anyone. He was taking every set is super seriously. So he uh, genuinely kind of top platform can't be a lot. And some, some part of me was like, I'm not scared. I'll fight Tweak. So I just ran at him a lot. And... That did not work. It's much better than I am, so... He would just keep dancing around me. I'd throw out a stupid up tilt and he'd just hit me for it. I'd be like, why did I do that? Oh my god. Oh, I'm still dead. That actually might actually... have been the reason I died. I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, we got the stage twice in a row, but it's kind of a fun stage. I'm okay with yeah. it. I like it, to be honest. I don't mind it. I mean, obviously not for tournament, but hey, this soon doesn't bother me for cash. It's funny. Yeah. You could get some hype tech. If I tech that, that would have been sick. Okay, oh. so my down smash can't beat it. But I can grab you through that? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's because of the hitboxes. They, they kind of like fade in and out. And I think when you grab because of how fast Wolf is, you kind of just happen to get through that. Damn, oh, thick cat. What's up? I'm heavy. Eee! No! You were supposed to attack God. sooner. <laughs> Never. Sometimes I'm patient. So yeah, so again, uh, shine results really, really good. <laughs> um, who actually yeah, won that tournament? I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it uh, Samsora. Samsora did. Oh, Samsora. Yeah, it was the first okay. time he finally beat Leo in a tournament. That was, that was right after um, uh, freaking um, Super Smash Con. Okay. Where Leo, like, yeah, I don't know if you remember that tournament when he, uh, Samsora was in Grants. He beat him in his finals, and Leo kind of just took him to town in Grants. It was kind of sad for Samsora. <laughs> But it was shine. It was actually really sick to watch that in person. It yeah, was very that, hype. That's that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, cause yeah, Sam Sora's one of those guys. Like, you, everybody knows he's one of the top five players in the world, easy. But then, like, I oh, feel like that. he gets caught in some of the weirdest situations and just gets like, I don't know. It's like, yeah, he, cause he, I don't know. He plays so honest in a way. Like, he just is good and yeah. just uses crazy micro spacing. And I feel like that's kind of the players that can always get gimmicks. Same with light to an extent. They're just so good, and they just play such a way that's like, I'm just better than you, and I'm going to just do better player things than you the whole time. So sometimes you just get cheesed. Like when he played freaking Ben Gold the K rule and almost lost that. It's like, man, I can't imagine Peach just bad against K rule, but maybe Sam's Peach. I don't know. I think Sam it's just bad against me, though. Like, he kind of just does weird against some characters. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. I mean, yeah, Game & Watch. <laughs> but I, uh,. That's a rough one. Yeah. Fucking what? <laughs> I'm not even bad against Game Watch. I hate. I just hate him. It's so boring to fight. I I like Game Watch. I don't care what people say. <laughs> I let's see. Look, I like him as an idea. I just hate the way he plays. I like. I played Meister twice somehow, in my short times traveling. Not fun. Never fun. <laughs> this is actually funny. I actually have a. I paid for a lesson uh, <laughs> with him like in two days or so, and I'm nice. just gonna try and take as much da uh, not damage as much uh, information I can out of it and just try to run with it from there. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, number six in the world, you don't just get there on a fluke, you know? Yeah, definitely not. Like, he looks like he's mashing, and he is, but it is smart. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, it's calculated. Can't deny that. That's me when I play Sinor. Of course. <laughs> Me when I play any character. I'm just gonna continue to land with the revenge. But anyway, so moving on from there, uh, let's talk about your skill level. Obviously, you only lose to the top three players in the world, um, going on your shine results. Uh, but <laughs> for your skill level in general, 
where do you think you are? Obviously, number one in Iowa, but at, where do you think you are, like, in a regional type and then, like, I guess on a worldwide level? And where do you want to be by the end of, like, Ultimate's lifespan? Um, I'd say, I mean, before uh, tournaments were down, I mean, like, I would put myself around. I think I definitely have the skill of a top 50 player. Obviously, you don't have the results because... I, you know, hard to travel, and that's just in a way my own boastful claim. But I, I've like I've played near five years now. Like I, am very sure of how good I am. I think like regionally wise, like Midwest, I'm very sure I'm a top five player in the Midwest. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, even arguably, I think, you know, it's hard to say I'm not to an extent. And then, well, I mean, okay, it isn't hard to say I'm not. Obviously, there's a lot of fucking players in the Midwest, but it's big as shit. Um, but I think so, anyway. I, th I think I'm that good. And I think by the end of Ultimate, I hope to at least be PGR, but I don't... I try not to, like, focus on that too much because getting PGR in general isn't even easy anyways. Like, just, it's not the best system at times. Like, just living in a populated region, you obviously have an infinitely easier time getting the big tournaments. Yeah. I mean, like, what is it? The Midwest only really gets, like... Well, we get, like, Frostbite in Big House, and then, uh, obviously... Yeah, like, we, we have a few here and there, but it's like... You know, I'm never, very rarely going to have PGR events within three hours travel time, yeah, obviously. That's, that's so it's harder. like, that makes it harder to, to with, like, there has been, like, you know, uh, Smash Out and then um, uh, Paradigm Shift were both great tournaments, and I was super happy to have those close. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like I said, like, you know, I would like to be PGR by the end, but I uh, try to focus more on just personally, like, getting better in ways that I'm sure make me better like even if, if i were pgr right now i don't think that would make a difference to me as a player i'm the same just now apparently i'm known yeah it's just so i'm not I'm, i you know like i said just getting better in general okay. but when i do play pgr player when i hopefully get the chance to anyways i don't play freaking tweak and like mk <laughs> at my next outing um <laughs> the chance is like yes i am actually good against you know I'd, I'd love to see how I would do against the 50 to, like, 30 ranked player that's not Getty. He's the only one i played in Mega Man hard. Yeah, Mega Man very hard. I don't know, man. Ron's kind of a legend. I agree. Ron, See, Ron is a legend, though. As weird as it was, I knew who Ron was since he also played Mario in Smash 4, so I recognized him, but I was very confused. <laughs> it's like, how? I didn't even know you were playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knew who Ron was, but I think it's just like the funny thing about Ron is just because of the, it's just the name Ron. <laughs> just Ron. Yeah, it's just a name. Just, just Ron. It just sticks out so much more. But uh, <laughs> it does. It no tag. Ron. So yeah, that, that's good. I think I think that's uh that's pretty pretty noteworthy though. Like um to think that to have the confidence to think that you're like a top fifty player. Uh, I think that's honestly it's kind of wild, and I'm not trying to say you're wrong. <laughs> I just think it's crazy. Oh, no, no, I get what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> like, because it can obviously, it's so hard to know if that comes from a place of genuine confidence or genuine ignorance. But, like, I don't know. I've played enough. Like, I know, I, I feel like I knew when I truly was bad. Mm -hmm. And I have, like, and then I accepted, no, I am not good yet. Like, I need to get better. And now that I have made those improvements, I, I don't know. I feel as if, like, even playing Samsora and Tweak, I never felt like I was just out of it. Like, I had no clue what was going on or how I could possibly win it. And that was enough then to prove to me, like, okay, clearly I can, you know, keep this going. Yeah, and I've only gotten better since then, so. Yeah. I can only assume, obviously, other people do as well. That's the brutal part of it. You have to keep the grind going, but. I just hope that when uh, tournaments do come back, I have not become a shell from... Oh, no! How did I not pack that? I thought I'd become some empty shell just, like, ruined by Wi-Fi because I barely played it all. I don't have tournaments anymore, obviously. Ugh, I just I mean, don't like it. I think you'll be all right. I think, uh... I'll get by. I was a Wi-Fi warrior before I entered tournaments. Yeah. Originally. So, like, oh, I can adjust. It'll be like, man, I miss reacting. I hear that. It's great. <laughs> See, for me, I personally am one of those guys that, like, I don't think my vice that bad, but it's definitely not good. <laughs> it's not, like, horrendous. I just Damn, I'm nice. find myself impossible to stay calm in Wi-Fi tournaments. I get that. Things I could brush off in bracket where I'm like, okay, whatever, you know. Obviously, that was probably my mistake if I get hit. I And whenever it's Wi-Fi, my brain always can blame Wi-Fi, so it always does. And I'm like, well, it's out of my control, and now I'm mad. I, I, I got hit because of lag. I, I, totally, I totally get that. 
Um, but yeah, no, I, as far as going back to the skill level thing, uh, like, I've never actually really seen you play. I think I've watched you uh, when you were at Doma Palooza. I think you were on stream there and I was watching some things. But um, you too, okay. Um, so, but like, the thing is, is like the people who I play with pretty often know who you are and they've played you and they say that you're, you know, you're really good. Um, one of them is uh, Eric, me sword fighter man from North Dakota. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember playing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he said, like, uh, first time I What was that? I know, was it, I think it was, was it the first time I played in that? Or was it. Uh, oh, was it uh, Icon? Or not the, Icon? The, the, uh, the, 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 I can't remember the name of it. Iconic Clash. Iconic yeah, Clash. Iconic Clash. That's it, because he yeah. keeps talking about how he beat uh, <laughs> White Fang. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> it's, it's a uh, running joke with us at the moment. He says it a lot. <laughs> Well, Wai Fang also quite the victory. Maybe people are proud of it. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, so, what is yeah, it? Really. So, yeah, he, he brought it up one time, because we have a snake main up here in North Dakota. It's uh, Snake Tribe. I don't know if you've ever played him or never met him before. Uh, he's pretty solid, right? And Eric, <laughs> Eric told me straight up one time, he said, listen, uh, no. he said, Snake Tribe's good, but, like, Welfare Pickles is on a whole nother level. <laughs> And I kind of took the, I was like, that's kind of crazy because Snake Tribe bops me. And to know that someone, you know, bops Eric, I kind of, I put that up on another level at some point. Hmm. I mean, that makes sense. Snake, he's a weird character like that. Mm -hmm. Many levels to it, I guess. Uh oh, bye. Yeah, just kidding. Yeah, you're sick. I'm kind of cute, too. <laughs> Never mind. <Wait> a <laughs> so, yeah. He's so, cute and dead. <laughs> moving on from there. Um, actually, I think we covered. Oh yeah, no, no, no. So obviously we went over your, you know, some like your results and stuff like that, and kind of like where you think you stand within, you know, your skill level and stuff like that. Um, what are some mm. moments within the Smash community? Does it could be games, it could just be like something funny within your scene that like really stick out to you the most? Oh man, um, I guess the things that stick out to me the most are usually like the the hype moments. I always love to be a part of a crowd or like have a crowd. Uh, so like things like when I was at a uh, frostbite, um, when T, whenever T was playing on stream and he'd throw the Galaga, a big chunk of the crowd would do the the noise. It would all go pew, <laughs> yeah, shit like that, like that. things like that. Uh, one of my um, an event I went to at a Heartland Showdown in oh, <laughs> ah, we tagged it this time. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, in Manhattan, Kansas, um, it basically got to make COVID ninety. Uh, it basically turned split into two crowds, like the Kansas crowd and like the Invaders in the tournament. And there was just a bunch of screaming and yelling between all of them. And it was like a esport event, so we had half the like gymnasium to smash. It was bigger than everything else, but there was like CS:GO, Overwatch, shit like that across the room. And they had to like pull the gymnasium like wall middle thing over to drown us out we were way too loud for everyone else playing which i just thought was hilarious i mean that's, uh, that's like I the guess... smash community in a nutshell to be honest we were loud oh yeah just being loud oh. uh, it was so fun we we're all just screaming ignorantly at two people on a stage playing a video game uh and then i guess definitely was when i was at um uh freaking the smash and splash pre-event because uh that was one of the few one of the big the biggest times i've ever had a crowd behind me and that's a very satisfying feeling to uh, win and have a crowd pop off for you. Yeah. Definitely something I'm like, wow, that was really cool. I would like to be the top player to have that happen a lot. That'd be great. Yeah, you know, adoring fans, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, look, dude, I mean, call me conceited, but it is fun to have people cheer for you. It's a satisfying feeling. No, I think that's fair. And the cool part is, right, is... Like, even though you're definitely, like, you know, one of the top players in the Midwest and stuff like that, you, you get those cheers, mm -hmm. but you're not, like, well-known enough to, for, like, people actually cheer for you losing, you know? <laughs> yeah, there's no, I don't have any detractors because I simply exist. Yeah, <laughs> which is what a lot of top players deal with. Yeah, and that's not the, the part I would uh, look for. I want to have the good and never the bad, because I will, I don't want to deal with people being like, uh, you are alive and play Snake? I don't like that. And I'm like, man, my grab is so shit. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, do a big walk across stage. Never mind. You should. I, lo I do that I do that every time when I'm playing uh, Incineroar and Elite Smash. I take a stock. It is the funniest walk in this game by far. 
This guy, he's got so much sass to him. No, that's why I fucking love Incineroar, man. He's just got so much personality in his character. Oh, he does. It's I. It's funny. I hated Incineroar when he came out in Sun and Moon. I thought he was the stupidest. I thought he looked like a Digimon. I just, I don't know. I did not like it. A po or fucking Smash, I love him now. Gave him so much personality. Dude, I'm the same way. And like, I'm I kinda, all about it. I like the fact that he was like, he's supposed to be a wrestler. Because, like, I, I personally think wrestling is, like, super sick. And, uh, mm. and so, like, when I saw the design, I was like, okay, I'm kind of okay with it. But I kind of like these fake designs that people tried passing off as real a little more. And then as soon as, like, Smash came around, I'm like, yo, why is he one of my favorite Pokemon all of a sudden? <laughs> He put all the personality into him that he needed. I also thought the Darkest Lariat animation was just horrendous in Sun and Moon. Oh, it yeah. looks so stupid. <laughs> so <laughs> just, he just lifelessly spins in a circle with no expression. Like, it just looks so weird. He's just, he's pretty much just really? T-posing. That's, that's what the model is. He really is, and it just, it just does not look right. I'm gonna get this stock right here. Oh, never mind. Okay, I was joking. I'm not joking. Okay, I was joking. Stop, 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 stop. Let's see. Okay. Oh, uh oh. Haha, ha, thanks, Shadow Ball. No! Open oh, the ceiling! Oh, ceiling. <laughs> Please, ceiling. Yes. Be a sit. No! Let's go! They fucked it up. Damn it. How did I fuck that up? Alright, so, uh, but good stuff. So we kind of got through like pretty much all the main questions here. So at this point, um, I'd like to open up the floor for you to bring up anything you want to talk about this could be within the community outside the community something you're passionate about it's whatever um hmm. but anything you might want to talk about i think i forgot to tell you this earlier and the plan was to tell you that earlier so you'd have all this time to think about it but <laughs> no no you did i just uh definitely did not think of anything oh, i uh uh oh man you know you think i would have a little more if i've been "Quote unquote interviewed a surprising amount of times for Smash. Do you wow. think I'd have maybe my own material prepared? You mean I wasn't your first? I, you know, <laughs> I, I'm sorry to say that you were not, unfortunately. It doesn't mean you're the worst, though, and that's what matters more. Oh, you no, know, see, that's the thing. Is If I was the worst, that's like, so like, where you think you're top 50, right? I know I can give at least a, dis a decent interview. And if I am the worst, I'm at least, uh... Oh, I love that. Uh, I'm, at, I'm at least, you know, doing well, which means you had some good interviews, which I can't be mad about. There you go. You gotta live positively. Ugh. Oh, God, I got hit by a bomb. Uh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Alright, we're good. I just want this here. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I must. Got to get rid of the no more revenge. Bye. How how that not go off for me? You're, I think you were still invincible. Oh. <laughs> you didn't even take damage. Too soon for your own good. Yeah, it happens. Whoa! Oh, dang it. Oh. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> yes, right, I'll just kill you right here. Ow, oh, okay. Hold up. Hold up. Nope. Stop. 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 Okay. Hang on. Oh, you got to fight me. Okay, hang on. Ugh. Okay, okay. I got this. I'm just kidding. I don't got this. Oh. Oh shit! Damn it, that, you know, I can't. Like, there was. I don't know how it didn't hit you. I'm sad it didn't. That would have been so sick. Ah! Ow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Yeah, I'm kind of really lucky. <laughs> hey man, sick micro spacing. Oh. Did that intentionally do that? That's actually kind of crazy. Oh. Oh, tragic. It happens. So yeah, that, oh, I guess yeah. we'll just uh, get a couple more games in or whatever, you know, kind of pad out the time yeah, a little well. bit. Plus, plus, I do want to play your snake a little bit. You know, you... you yeah, it's fair, you know, I realize. Yeah. I ate up all the time with other characters. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, as time flies. 
Smash goes too fast. We're both mashers, so they're quick games. Yeah, yeah, no, that's definitely true. Uh, I am definitely a fan of the mash, and I think people should not take offense when they're called a masher. They really shouldn't. I really don't think, like, I don't get it, to be honest. Like, Samsora and Meister, they're mashers. They're absolutely mashers. They're just really good at it. Like, there's nothing to be ashamed of. You press a lot of buttons. Button pressing can be really good in this game. There's a lot of good buttons. There is a lot of good buttons. I swing a lot because I have a lot of things that hit hard and do a lot of damage. Meister swings a lot because it's all safe. It's like, why wouldn't he? Huh? Thank God. Thank God that broke that. Uh, Goodbye. Just goes like, wait. Oh, wait, I didn't have it down. I thought it did. Damn it. Ow. Oh, I ah, went that way. I thought that was you. Oops. Let's go that way. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I wanted to do. E. Oh, I see what you're going for. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Nope. No! <laughs> oh. Right into my loving arms. Oh jeez, oh jeez, please stop. <laughs> oh god, that was a lot of explosions. Please stop. Ow. I get rain. See, I, you were going for like the stick, and then you were gonna fly up and blow me up there, right? There you go. Uh, yeah, I was trying to get a grenade to pop you up, and then I'd go up C4, and then I was gonna up air you, but you just held shield like a smart person. I love holding shield and pressing buttons. I'm not gonna make it back, don't worry. <laughs> oh, I, to, I wasn't sure. You didn't want to get clipped, which is the smart thing to do. Well, the whole point is that I'm uh, pretty average at this game. I think slightly above. Um, some of us are a little more humble than thinking we're top 50. <laughs> hey, man. I know what I know. <laughs> but uh, the whole point is kind of like for me to play against better players and then kind of show mm -hmm. other people, hey, this is kind of might what happens. Might, what, might be what happens to you <laughs> if you play against yeah. some really good players. And, uh tends to be the case <laughs> generally yeah i've i've had a few times where oh man Sh shine i remember i played a roy player in pools and I, I don't know what it was about him specifically he wasn't even like my round one i think he was around out around away from uh getting out of that pool mm -hmm. but it just did not go well at all for him and i remember after he asked me for advice and i really had nothing i just like man i don't know i just beat the shit out of you <laughs> you kept interacting with me, and I just played this game, or have played it more, and I just kept hitting you. <laughs> like, if, I, I don't know. Sometimes I have those moments where I just I don't know what to tell you. It just didn't go well. Run away more. You just can't interact that often with me. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I do feel bad, though, about shit like that. Cause I'm like, yeah, I'd, I'd like to give good advice, but sometimes I just don't know. Take that. Hit the ceiling? Damn it. <laughs> yeah, ceiling's a little bit more uh, towards. The hey, I died way up. I was hoping. Uh oh. Oops. Uh oh. No, stop it. What the hell? I, I felt like I want to do that. <laughs> weird. You can like go to the top. You can't land on it. No. No ceiling today. You know, it's this stage is probably shit for Snake. Oh wait, it comes back because of the ceiling. <laughs> <Dude>, oh. <obvious. laughs> Let's oh my god. That's a bait now, I can use that. For the casual tournaments. Exactly. Oh my god. I... Just give me your Lariat just heard us say it was bad, and he said, I'm not bad at all. Look at me beat grenade every time. No, you bitch! <laughs> oh, you know me. Not oh, wanting to get Lariated again. No, I wanted to get the grab. No, 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 no,
Oh my god, that was still active. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't want to. No, stop. I'm no more. I want this win. I want it. Sorry. I just can't give it up. Damn it. I think you will. I play too much in Civil War, but how to deal with Civil War. <laughs> All right. I'm mad. What if that would have killed me? Well, I don't know what one. I uh, revenge. I'm pretty sure it's a grenade, but you are going to hurt. Oh my god, that re. Oh, never mind. Apparently, somehow. <sighs> yes. No. <laughs> Thank you, Sealy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Rad. Uh oh. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> finally, Clark. We're both at like. I'm at 195. I don't even know where you were at. I need to die already. I'm right back. <laughs> we'll die right here. Ceiling? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, stop it. Be, be a good guest. Be. be a good guest. Here we go. Thank you. Thank Don't you. Worry, I'll be the Thank good guest. Yeah. Ah. 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 <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> Come here. Hooray! <laughs> the okay. air raid. Well, I think we will close it out there. Uh, definitely showed me. Um, I mean, I know it's Wi-Fi, but you definitely show me what kind of snake you are and what kind of, of guest course. you are with that <laughs> C4. But again, Good um, I thank you for coming on to the show, man. I know you. Yeah, it's fun. May probably super familiar with who I am and what I like to do, but that's fine. The fact that you came out here means a lot to me, and I appreciate that. So of course, I'm fine, man. from here, are there any final words you'd like to put out there before you wrap this up? Wi-Fi sucks. Smash Bros. is sick. The ultimate is a good game. Yeah, I agree. That's a, there you go. That's a big sand. So yeah, we'll wrap it up right there. Uh, thanks, everybody, for coming out here. Uh, if you want to follow Welfare Pickles, like on Twitter or anything like that, uh, I will post whatever links in, in below. You'll just have to give me those links afterwards, you know, all the good stuff. Will do. And, uh, yeah, we'll end it right there. So thanks, everybody, for watching, and uh, be good to each other.